Am I going to run into a pair of crazed scientists that were in here before me? Uh, nope. Hey, the amazing Rando. Watch Rando the Great construct sets with his very mind. <laughs> What's up, rascals? Welcome back to Paul American. We- <laughs> Excuse me, I swallowed too much plastic. We are about to check out the apartment levels, see what kind of new creepy scary things are going to be jumping out at us and going Because I have... Don't judge. I have no idea what kind of sounds that a, a monster made of plastic would do- would create. Maybe it would be like that bag and go crinkle. Whoa, guys! Ha 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 ha! Already we're getting hit with tremors and explosions of... Okay, my flashlight is on. Okay, so... Why am I automatically going to the darkest area? Schlulungsdra... Forgive me, I have never spoken a word of German in my life, so anything I try to say, I'll I'll just end up butchering horribly. Hell, listen to me, I can barely speak English. Okay, so this area is a dead end, or it's saved for later. I'll be finding some kind of key to uh, get myself into that area, maybe, possibly. I suspect so. Creepy music aside, we're going to press forward and try and uh, find clues and uh, neat things and hopefully no monsters just yet because I don't think I'm uh, ready for that kind of action. Oh! That's, that's a good sign. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, having yourself an identity crisis, Mr. Uh, Hallway? Excuse you. Nope, can't open that door. Check it. Hey, do you mind? Oh. All right. Hang on a minute. Let me just... Quit freaking out over the warping atrocities there that are in in all of the here. Excuse me a moment. I wonder why we are actually still working here. I can understand that we have to coordinate further in order to get out of this situation. It is no use crawling into a corner crying and hoping that someone will rescue us. I can imagine that the people up there don't even know where we are at all. I am not even sure where we are yet. Hmm. I can make several assumptions, but it would only be my own silly opinions and things. Dirt and Twickler. I don't know what that is. Probably something from the 80s. Something from 1980s Germany, anyway. I would have no idea what that kind of pop culture reference would be. If that is, in fact, a pop culture reference. A lot of wide VHS video cases. Hello. I should have known, but the offer to work here for a year, to live here, and to get 7,500,000 Deutschmarks for it afterwards was simply too tempting. Had I known that these mad scientists were experimenting with things that people better keep their hands off, I would never have come here, says Marcus. Okay, Marcus, well, uh... It's a bit late to regret things here now and such. Why? Hello, Mr. Key, which I will take for apartment six. What's in apartment six? 
something spooky, I bet. A fork! Okay. Wolfgang said they discovered something strange in the northern cave during the expedition when they were looking for another source of water. Ruins that looked as if they had been built by huge people. He estimates the age of the buildings around 30,000 years. But even as a materials scientist, he could only say more if he had the possibility to examine the ruins with scientific tools. Ooh. So, underground colossal men? Interesting. <gasps> Black mold. All right, all right. Stop with the shaking and rumbling and such. Don't trap me in here, please. I I would rather not. Yeah, you're still locked, and there's a bunch of twisty twisty. There we go. All right, we're out of there. Nicely. Thank you. Now let's uh, let's visit the Technicolor hallway and see what's going on. What's in here? Did I just go in a big old circle? Why is this a... Oh! Is this... This is... Very perplexing. Why do I feel like this wasn't a... Big old circular hallway before? This whole building must be... Shifting and moving. To keep me inside. Am I going to run into a pair of crazed scientists that were in here before me? Uh, nope. No! I want none of that! Um, sorry. I think I interrupted its fapping. Okay, 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 okay. Suck it up, Leslie. Who's Leslie? Not me. Um. Okay. 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 Hello. It's okay. Don't be scared. I'm a scientist. Now that I think about it, that might be the worst announcement ever to make around you guys because, uh, yeah, the other guys were scientists too and they didn't really, you didn't really take a liking to them. Stop, stop with the things and such that you're doing creepily and freaking me out. Ugh. Okay. So that was that was a lot less terrifying than I made it up to be in my head. Excuse me? Something's gonna Excuse you Get a room. That's something to do in a private setting, not in the middle of a hallway. Granted, I'm kind of invading your space now, so uh who am I to judge? Oh, well, I'm not going that way. Hmm. Are there any notes? Whoa! What did that? Who did that? Why? Apartments one through six. Okay, so I've got the key for apartment six. Um. Okay, why? Why are there suddenly intense violin and a creepy gong? Whoa, did I just see the walls warp? Hello, fire extinguisher. Would you, will you be my friend? Something sounds like it's having indigestion. Hello? Oh, God. That's the sound in documentaries about spiders when they're crawling around. Is there going to be a giant plastic spider? 
Yes. Thank you. That's a nice big old TV. This is a nice cushy apartment. Yeah, I could I could see uh people being Oh. I'm I'm not okay with that. Do I want to know kind of Hello? Am I going to get attacked by by a monster camouflaged as bedding? Wouldn't put it past this place. What was that noise that I just heard? Sounded like an asthmatic monster creature. And then there was that. Okay. Oh, why the... What is... Uh, why do you gotta have props in there that I can't play with? And then the other drawer... Okay, their other drawer is interactable. I just gotta... There. Today we will try to leave the area and make an expedition into the vault towards the north. Hopefully we will find another source of water. It would be desirable to find some materials for the refinery, because soon we have no more oil and then it becomes also with the power supply scarce. Was that a proper sentence? Thomas, Claudia, Marcus, and Olga have agreed to do the expedition with me. Well, congratulations for them. I hope they survived. I doubt it because I don't think anyone survived. Who? Yes? No? Wow. Could have a whole ugly sweater party just from all of this. Nice! Bathroom? Bathroom. Light sports reading. Nice. Whoa, whoa. Was that just a graphical glitch or was that something actually going to be a... Never mind. I'm just too jumpy for my own good. I'm pretty sure that I'm just making it... Making things worse for myself by assuming the worst. You know, not everything is going to be... Shut up. Yesterday, I secretly overheard a conversation between Dr. Bear and Dr. Peterson. They talked about a problem that they had caused themselves and that they had to calm down a certain entity somehow. Peterson accused Dr. Bear of completely misunderstanding the spirit of matter. We would have caused a disturbance which these entities are now trying to correct and this could cost us our lives that has scared the hell out of me hopefully we will soon be enlightened I do not dare ask well you should have asked Marianne cause that might have actually saved lives so ooh ooh what is going on here I think if I'm beginning to understand these, what this company has tapped into to create their plastics is some ancient civilization or spirit from underground, and um, they've those spirits are infused with the plastic and angry. I'm just spitballing here, so uh, don't mind me if I'm coming up with some really crazy theories. And stop it, chair. Little butt burglars. Oh, boy. Another rumbly? What's in here? 
Shut up! I'm gonna read this, and then you guys are gonna be quiet and let me enjoy my light reading of absolute horror. Entry, August 1st, Experiment 589. Research into communication with a CP3 resonance coil. The frequency converter is replaced by a frequency generator. The Type 34A is used for taming. It must be played for 12 minutes and 4 seconds at full output power. The connection to the tectonic entity can be established. The subject can be coupled to the CP3 within the next 5 seconds. The entity will not accept the subject if the sign for creation is not clearly recognizable. Recommended burning it into the skin you... Whoa, wait, what? I recommend burning it into the skin using a metal stamp. A tattoo will not be sufficient for the tectonic entity, and in the worst case it will respond with an earthquake. If no one volunteers for this somewhat painful procedure, I will try it on myself. So there's a symbol that you have to basically scarify onto your body with, with like a brand. Just to make this earth spirit happy that you have accidentally woven into plastic. Ah. The arrogance of science. Ah. And the atrocity of fashion. Huh. Well, guys, uh, not a whole lot went on, and quite frankly, that's my fault for being a scaredy pants and not moving forward sooner. But I'll do better in the next episode. Well... However, that ends up being for me. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this one, let me know by giving that like button a bop. Leave some comments down below. Share with your friends. If you're new here, consider subscribing. And I'll see you in the next video. Hopefully, it'll amaze.